And it actually fucked me up because I haven't heard from Captain Pondaster in about two years. The last time I talked to her was on my old page when I put out my Heartbroken song. And my Heartbroken song, you can go look that up on YouTube right now. Put in Jetta D Heartbroken. You'll see how long that shit gonna say it came out 2018. That's about the last time I talked to her. But me living life and doing what I do, and I knew that Cappy was a basketball player, right? She hooped. And it ain't like we talked every day anyway. You know what I'm saying? She's hooping, living her life. We went to school together, so I know her in the sense of where, hey, she was following my old page. If I see her, we chop it like that. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like when I didn't hear from her on Instagram no more, it was a big deal because it's not like we talked every day. It ain't like she's my best friend and no shit. I know her, went to school with her. And she stayed humble and ain't never change up. So it is what it is, you feel me? But... them right there peace to the gods all the protection i'm asking from you all so i can speak about this darkness this not darkness but this this agenda all right so first off let's start with who is cappy pondexter cappy pondexter is a WNBA legend now a lot of people don't watch W women's basketball. All right. So they have no clue that Cappy Pondexter is a WNBA legend. But she is. Okay. So hold up. We gotta all get on the same page. Okay? We gotta all get on the same page. So Since I, have a, since I have a voice and I have a huge platform, nobody's covering her story. Nobody's talking about what she said. And when you go look her up on Instagram or look her up, first off, she ain't been live since that day damn near. And when you go look up on, on YouTube, they making her seem crazy right now. So I'm going to do her justice and bring light to what's really going on. And those who follow this university, y'all already know. Now, it's going to be, expect a lot of trolls, y'all, because this is a huge story. And they have yet, they haven't caught her yet. They're still trying to recapture her. All right? What she did has never been done. Nobody has never broken out of the cloning facility and got away. She somehow broke out and got away. And when she got away, she went live to try to warn the world of what she's going through. And if you go look, if you go, if you go look at um her her Instagram post, right? If you go look at her Instagram post, you're going to see. They trying to make her look crazy. Okay? Notice, they go attack this live. Don't don't even pay. Don't say nothing, y'all. Just notice everybody that says something low vibration. I'm not even reading it. I just know they're going to attack the live because I'm the biggest platform that's covering her story. Get what I'm saying? Ain't nobody covering this. Nobody. This is dub. This is Cappy Point Dexter. At the least, it should be all type of big ass articles out there about it just because Cappy Point Dexter said it. Go look at go look at her Instagram page. Boy, she ain't got no con. Boy, look at what she been posting. Boy, look at what she been posting, boy. <laughs> they hacked her Instagram, too. Now, hear me. 
They hacked her Instagram too. You feel me? They hacked her Instagram too. You know? Because you know they, they run your shit. When people become when people become big celebrities, they run they pages. This is how it works. Like that's why like a lot of y'all when y'all hit up blue people with blue checks, it, and y'all be like, damn, why they don't respond back like that? It's not really them. You know what I'm saying? It's really like after so long, it ain't just when you get a blue check, because you got people with 5K to get a blue check. You could buy articles and go get a blue check. You know what I'm saying? Listen, once you reach a certain level, y'all, then they run your page for you. You know what I'm saying? They they run your page. They control everything. So with her being as big as she was, they been at her IG page, and that's and that's them posting all the crazy shit on her wall, posting all these pictures of Beyonce. See what I'm saying? With these crazy statuses. So then when she did go live and say something, she's looking crazy to the world because everybody already got a closed eye. They don't even know that she, man. She they don't even know what's going on, man. How, what just what is going on and what that means, man? The elites don't let nobody get away. So if she got away, that means their system is breaking down. That's what that means, nigga. Man, they had it structured so good, she would have never got away. You feel me? Cappy Pondexter would have never got away. So she escapes out the cloning lab, right? To reveal. That they had her under, because I was trying to see if they cloned her. They didn't clone her. The Cappy Pondexter we seen the last two years on her Instagram wall posing as a model, that's her. But they did it like they did Dreezy. Remember I told y'all they got Dreezy on the MK Ultra. And right when I made the video, they made Dreezy put out a freestyle. They did that off me to try to throw off what I'm saying. And you ain't seen Dreezy put out shit since that freestyle this year. And before that freestyle, she hadn't put out shit in two years. I got a video called The Dreezy Effect. Go watch it. You feel me? You feel me? So I never thought they was on that with Cappy. To be honest with y'all, I actually kind of forgot about her though. I ain't gonna lie. Like myself, like, you know, it be out of sight, out of mind. So I ain't heard from Cappy, but I also know that celebrities, when you in the spotlight, sometimes you need to relax. Like, that's a lot of energy of people knowing your name, saying your name, hitting you up. That's a lot of energy. So sometimes people got to step away from it and relax. Facts. I get it. I get it. So me, honestly, I honestly forgot about it. Especially, you got to think, the last year myself, I've been so tired in this war against oppression. I stopped watching basketball. Listen, I used to watch basketball on TV. I used to watch football season. I used to watch like certain shows. I had certain shows. When I got full 10 toes in this war against oppression, I dropped everything. You know what I'm saying? I stopped playing the game like that. I just started playing the game back in my wife. Was like, babe, you gotta play the game. You gotta just balance it out. Relax sometimes. You gotta relax sometimes. You be so 24-7, you know, in this war. You don't even get to enjoy it with your family. Relax sometimes. Alright? So I said that to say this. The my last little two years for real, myself, I've been like locked in this war. And then the last year, I just like another level because we in the end game. So I ain't been thinking about Cappy. I'm like. She already had won a ring in the WNBA. She's already a certified WNBA legend. She's a high school legend in Chicago. So I just felt like, shit, ain't no telling what she doing with her life. Man, until she went live, until she went live a, a few, this last week, saying what she said, I would have had no clue. And that's how I knew that she wasn't lying. For one, I knew she wasn't lying because I know her. I know that she's woke, right? For two, I know the industry. I know Holly weird. All right. One, because I've had a chance to experience it behind the scenes. All right. And you don't have to become a Jay-Z level to experience Hollywood. Do you know how many motherfuckers know the shit I talk about? And they never got that big neither, but they got a cousin that, that had a deal offered. 
or they didn't went to, they didn't been invited to a party that was like a special invite only. And you not knowing it's like that. And then your ass get to the party and all that. And it be like that. You know what I'm saying? That's how I ended up at one of them parties. I already know that Cat Williams told the truth. But then even when I'm sitting here saying this, you got motherfuckers right now. It's like, you never been there. So when you got those type of sleep people, this is why Cappy is going through what she's going through. This is why they have been able to commit, commit sex, child sex trafficking against us since 1950. Every single person that has been kidnapped, kids and women included, that was all done by your government. Yes, yes, yes. Your government, your politicians. Yep, they the head of it. They the head of the whole child sex trafficking ring, nigga. And it's all finna come out. And I've been talking about this, though. I'm not the only one. A lot of us been on the internet talk about the pizza gate, nigga. You know? So for Cappy Pondexter to come out and just say some shit that all niggas already knew. Boy. Boy, that's the, that's the, boy, that's the evidence. Evidence, nigga. What more do you need? For a person that's woke, nigga, that's all the evidence, boy. And if you're aware of the times, that's also aware that we're an end game. She would have never said that. Cappy Pondexter got major endorsements. You must don't know who Cappy Pondexter is, boy. You talk about LeBron, she the damn little LeBron of WNBA. What did you talk about? Like, this, this, there'll be no different than if motherfucking Allen Iverson, nigga. She, matter of fact, there you go. She's the Allen Iverson of the WNBA. But, but matter of fact, better because she actually won a fucking ring, nigga. Ivo never won a ring, nigga. So think about what Iverson was for, for man's basketball. And you, do that's Cappy Punt Dexter, nigga. Fuck is you talk about, man? That's Cappy Punt Dexter, nigga. Buckets, nigga. What you talking about? She give anybody buckets, nigga. She was giving Sebastian Telfair buckets, nigga. It's footage. You don't believe me? Let's go to the tape. See, I'm going to show y'all who she was. So motherfuckers, they never finna just play with her name like that. That's who. I, that's what I'm out here for. You see what I'm saying? I'm out here for any time y'all try to play with certain individuals' names to speak this truth. This is why the truth don't get out. Because as soon as a motherfucker speak, y'all, y'all, look, look, look. As soon as somebody speak the truth, you immediately say the motherfucker crazy. And her being a celebrity, I'm trying to get her out of her shell. She ain't even talked to me. I sent her my number and everything. You hear me? She went and responded to my post and all that. She responded to my post. She literally got off her live, ended her live. I guarantee you, motherfuckers in here right now that was on her live, nigga, that never even knew me, nigga. And she's all in the comments. And I'm like, man, they had you in a cloning facility. And I was on there telling her to shake out that shit, nigga. I talked her out the MK Ultra, nigga, on her live. When everybody, when I got on her live and motherfuckers was clowning her, that's all I seen was negative comments. Oh, she crazy. She literally was on live like this. Nigga, she was stuck like that, nigga, for like three minutes, nigga. And everybody was talking shit. Boy, I, using my magical abilities that motherfuckers still don't believe in, that's on them. I'm like, because I love her, nigga. I seen what she was going through. So I immediately knew what it was. I'm like, when she stuck like that, I'm like, oh, they got on the MK Ultra. So the reason she had paws like that is because she's fighting the other entity that's inside of her body. Just like they showed y'all in Get Out. This is what Key and Peele was showing you in Get Out. And he couldn't just come out and say it. So they put a Key and Peele code, boy. They can't just come out and say it. So they put the shit in movies. They put the shit in. So in Get Out was showing you about how they do people in Hollywood. When they, and not just people in Hollywood, they also expose child sex trafficking to you. Remember, the black guy in Get Out had been missing, y'all. He had been deemed missing since they was kids. Since they were kids. Go back. See, Get Out exposed so much. And Key and Peele, they are under MK Ultra. Both of them. See? So that's why Key and Peele put that, that they, they put the shit out in the movies like that. Because they can't say nothing. They can't really say nothing when it's another motherfucker inside of you. You know what I'm saying? By switching out the pineal glands. So that somebody can live in you. Transfer, conscious transferal is a real thing in the medical field, man. 
Conscious transferal is a real thing in the medical field. Why do you think they show you so many movies with conscious transferal? They showed it to you in Avatar. How I always say this. How the fuck do you think he got into the Avatar? Remember? That's conscious transferal. They showed it to you and get out. It was the same shit. Transferring the consciousness so that they can live inside of the individual. <laughs> this is just a small example of what the fuck these motherfucking reptilians was down here doing on y'all planet. You have not a clue, but it's all coming out though. Don't even worry about it. This is why we keep telling you all is being revealed. You get what I'm saying? In game, it all got to come out because a lot of y'all haven't had a chance to wake up because you just don't know that this shit has been going on. They know that if they come out and say that, people going to be against it. White and black, they know that. This is why they promote the race war. Okay? The race war brings more bloodshed. War in general brings more bloodshed. This is the whole reason why they send countries to war. Because your planet is ran by an extraterrestrial race that relies on your blood and your nutrients, your mitochondrial, as an actual food source. I gave a lecture on my website about mosquitoes. That's all part of it. Bed bugs, part of it. These are all different ways they get the blood out of us, along with taking it out of you in hospitals. Okay? All right? Been doing it a long time. But a, a major thing that people didn't know is this child sex trafficking and kidnapping that every single person that's ever been kidnapped was kidnapped by the fucking elites that run not just Hollywood, but the world. These are all your litigators. Obama in this shit. Hillary Clinton and them was in the part of this shit. Bill Clinton, the Bushes, all your top fucking, um, not just hot, not just rap music, nigga, all your top label execs, period. You hear me? And not just them, all your governors, all your mayors, all your senators. You cannot get a position of authority in no country if you're not a part of the elites, if you're not a part of that agenda. This is why in music, they, you can be in music and get a lot of money, Jadakiss, but if you're not selling out, you're not finna go Jay-Z. Selling out is taking that blood oath transferal and agreeing to be a gatekeeper because you understand the depth of this thing and how deep it really goes. And they only show this to those that they deem they can really trust because they know we gods. That's why they require your soul, because you're a god. See what I'm saying? You're a Nunakai god. So this is why they always require the soul, these reptilians do, of us to come into them, to really be a part of them. They need your soul. They can't, they, they can't take your word. You a god. Nigga, you might be just trying to get in there and get close to them and shift on them ass and fuck, and fuck them up from the inside out. The same way they did us. So they require your soul. This is why they need you. That's why they make them kill their moms and their dads and all that. Right now and get out when they showed you the God, the black God, they revealed a lot to you. They revealed conscious transferal that goes on Hollywood, Holly weird. All right. They like to do it to your celebrities. They want to be them. You know, you think the label owner don't want to know what it's like to be Beyonce? Yes. Fuck, fuck making money off Beyonce. I want to know what it feel like to work that stage like Beyonce. They told you this and get out. They literally put it in niggas' faces. You hear me? Fuck, fuck signing, Jay-Z. No, I want to know what it's like to... This is why you see them glitch. Well, we be like, they glitching. No, MK Ultra. A lot of them is MK Ultra, but it just depends on how strong your soul is. If your, if your, soul, if your soul is a strong soul, and then you get in Hollywood and they find that out, then they got to kill you and replace you. Kodak Black you. Gucci man you. Because although Gucci might not have been well aware to the depths of this, the real Gucci, he stood for something. So that nigga ain't hell, no, I ain't with no shit like that at the basis. You know what I'm saying? Gucci, like, I'm a street nigga. I'm with that Rob and shit, but I ain't with no child sex trafficking, eating no kids, drinking their blood. I ain't with none of that. Up, uh, Gucci, you gotta go. 
Kodak. I'm just naming your rappers that was real. Your, your, your new ones. XXX. Pimp C's. Your Nipsey Hustles. Tupac's. You see what I'm saying? Nigga like Tupac and Agent. All your agents is the nigga still alive. Holla at Nas. Holla at Diddy. Holla at Jay. Holla at Funk Master Flex. The niggas that was alive in that era. You see what I'm saying? You want to sit here and disrespect the nigga that died speaking up. Nigga Pop would still be here if he didn't speak up, goofy. So I ain't going to never let you play with his name like that. Go on somebody else live and play with his name, nigga. I know the real from the fake. You can't fake me out. I know the real from the fake. If anybody know the real from the fake, it's me. Nigga, if Pac was an agent, nigga, I ain't going to hold him, no spare him, none, nigga. Pac wasn't even my favorite rapper. Jay-Z was, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. Nigga, Jay-Z was my favorite rapper, nigga. Pac, I respect his message, though, even as a kid. You know what I'm saying? But, like, my favorite rapper was Jay, nigga. <laughs> And if I can say that about Jay-Z, nigga, what makes you think? Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, boy, them was my niggas. You feel me? Come on, man. You talking about basketball, nigga. Vince Carter, nigga. You don't think I like LeBron, nigga? I had LeBron first pair of shoes, nigga. I was in high school when LeBron was in high school. LeBron older than me. But when LeBron was a senior, I was a sophomore, nigga. I watched LeBron when he came to the All-American game at the United Center when he had the all-red shoes on, nigga. I was there, nigga. I was there, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be trying to play me, y'all. Like, I just ain't, ain't never enjoyed the lies of the Matrix 2. Nigga, come on, man. Y'all feel me, nigga? Yes, nigga. I, I enjoyed the lies of the Matrix, man. You feel me? I, I enjoyed that. That was all a part of entertainment. That's what entertainment is, to entertain your soul with lies, nigga. You see what I'm saying? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Nas, Nas definitely dropped a lot of knowledge. But guess what, though? Nas a sellout, though, nigga. You see what I'm saying? Nas a sellout. You feel me? Nas a sellout, though, nigga. Nas dropped that message in the music, but he ain't gonna dare say that shit no interview the way Pac was saying. That's why Nas is still here, nigga, and Pac ain't, man. Stop playing with him, man. Knock it off, man. I'm acting like y'all don't know how Pac was talking in the, in the interviews, man. Y'all kill me, man. <laughs> the only nigga that's gone for, kid, for talking real shit in the interviews, y'all talking about he the agent. But all these puss ass niggas that was alive when he was alive, nigga. Them niggas still here, nigga. What is you talking about, nigga? Being silent, right. Nas around this bitch promoting Hennessy, nigga. Nas around this bitch getting fucked in the ass, diddy, nailing them every night, faithfully. What is you talking about? Yeah, Nas an extreme lyricist. Yeah, Nas got a message, but he folded, though. He 